the previous video, we have looked at how to use Illustrator to draw the simple site map. Let's say now I want to go into this homepage and draw the wireframe of the homepage, which I actually sketch out. It starts with this, the logo, and then after that, followed by a simple uh, Mavi, and then this is the image slider with some tagline and text, then followed by a call to action button and three features rates. Then after that, followed by these three products, which is actually sits on a very big um, pictures in the background and then followed by some tagline and lastly followed by a simple copyright footer and three social media icons there. Of course, now we have the new tools which is XD to draw a wireframe. But then you can also use Illustrator to draw a simple uh, low fidelity wireframe and then followed by high fidelity wireframe. Then again, we also want to use Illustrator to practice our skills, right? So we can actually draw our simple wireframe using this. We will start by using this um, re rectangle box. This will be our logo. For wireframe images, it's actually represented by a box and a cross. Escape, click here and here and escape. So that is an image. Then we want to select this so that to group them together by right click group or using a shortcut key command G or control G to group them together. In cases that you might notice if you draw a box and then when you want to draw a line, you see when I bring the pen tool near the edge, when I mouse over the edge, it's actually a pen tool with a minus sign. If I click on it, it actually removes the line instead of drawing the, dropping the anchor point. That is because Illustrator thought that I want to remove the anchor point rather than click on it. So the, the main trick is actually simply to deselect the box first and then click on the pen tool and then bring it near to the edge now you click on this and instead of remove the point it will actually just um, snap to the point okay you might want to take note of that so now we have this image done which is actually a logo we must actually label it as logo so that the our team member will know that it's a logo set a line center and bring this to maybe 36 point logo somewhere here that will do. Then we'll have the navy on the right side. We we'll have home. Then we have about us. Then we have the products. We have the events. And the last one is contact us. Now, as you notice, all my five navigation items are jump, jumping up and down and all over the place and it's not aligned properly. So in order to align properly, I just simply have to bring all of them, select all of them together and then use these two. This align tool and simply click on the vertical align center. So that will align the thing to the center. Then next one, I want to have them align nicely horizontally distribute align nicely again select this i can click here align tool and then have them horizontally distribute to the center so that actually solve our problem within two click and bring this slightly to the right side we don't care so much about the alignment now because um, this is a low fidelity wireframe we just want to know the placement of what our, our things should be so we can actually drop this a box roughly around this size that will be our image slider and then i want to swap this over so that it shows the outline instead then again it's a big image background so that is the big image group them and then i want to draw a left arrow and right arrow by using a box so i use a box to roughly about this size and then when I bring the cursor nearer, you see it actually changed to this, rotate. I simply press and hold um, shift, you lock it to 45 degree snap. So I want it to snap. If not, then you notice that you turn into this funny angle which might not be, which will not be the, you know, the right uh, left arrow and right arrow. So you want to press and hold shift and then snap it. Use the direct selection tool to remove one line. Click on it and then simply press delete. Okay, that will give us the arrow. 
yes, size it nicely, press and hold shift again, size it nicely about there, change the stroke to maybe 5 point, yeah, that will do, bring it to the center, as you notice that, to know that it's a center, it will actually show you the purple line, snap, Alright, one on the left and then the right arrow, simply press and hold uh, option key to duplicate it and shift to so that it actually uh, lock to the axis. Somewhere near the right side, we're going to use the rotation tool, bring the cursor nearer, press and hold shift so that it actually rotate around to this degree and let go. So that is our right arrow. Then. Uh, image slider is not complete without the three dots. So we will drop a first dot here. First dot. And then it should be a few instead of an outline. Then it should be a lighter. Um, shouldn't be that black. Double click on this. And that's what we get. Maybe somewhere here. Alright. Duplicate and duplicate and of course we can select both item and duplicate both at the same time so to show that this is image slider maybe we want to select one of these and then turn the color darker so that it shows that it's a selection okay now we notice that the alignment is off simply select all of them together and then align distribute horizontal evenly that's our image slider now you notice that the bottom part is actually not enough space worry not because this is a low fidelity wireframe and artboard is just for us to um, to visualize so it's not very important that what are the sizes that to fix now so simply click on this and then simply drag this down to extend the space we can actually zoom out by using this function the zoom function Press and hold option key to toggle it to zoom out or zoom in is a bit and then go back to this extend um, artboard tool just drag it down so that we have enough space to work with all right the next we'll have the three feature um, box with pictures and then followed by header and then followed by the some text and a button so let's draw the first one first. Again, you can redraw again, but or you can do it the smart way by select what you have draw. Since it's just going to be picture, it's going to be the same. So I'll simply duplicate from the logo. Press and hold option, duplicate here, somewhere here, and then drag to about um, one third of the size. So my canvas is one nine two zero. So one third is about six hundred. So let's have it as six one. 610 that's fine okay it's about that size of course the stroke i want it to be consistent so everything is one point then i will want to drop a text here so that will be the um, header title for the feature then i want it to align left and 36 point is fine no i want it thicker actually maybe 48 and Followed by bow. Yeah, bow is fine. Then the next one, I want to drop a box of text. So simply by clicking this text tool and go to the left side, somewhere near here, click and then drag. Okay, drag it to somewhere near to the right side, right bottom right end and then let go. So Illustrator is smart enough to know that you want to drop uh, a few lines of text here. It will just give you some dummy text, Lorem Ipsum dummy text. Now we can change the styling. Um, regular and this should be 36 okay that will do the last item is the call to action button i want a rounded edges um, call to action button by dropping a box first and then this should be outline use these two zoom in Okay, here I get the radius, simply drag all the way down so that I get full rounded edges and then dropping it to be, this should be um, read more since it's an article. Align center, 
drag the anchor so that it's aligned center to the button. Then I can group them together and right click and group. So that will make it a button. Okay, we have one set done. Let's shift the alignment a bit before we duplicate it. Select this and then bring it down. You can actually use mouse to bring it down or you can simply use arrow key, up, down arrow key. I'm just going to use shift and down arrow key so that to bring down 10 pixel by 10 pixel. So let's say I'm happy with the alignment now. I want to duplicate them. I can simply group them, right click and group them again so that they are one group. And press option key or alternate key on PC. Drag, duplicate here. And then lastly, we want to duplicate somewhere here. Okay, then let's say bring it in a bit. And this one, bring it out a bit. Use the arrow key. So now we want to align the three items. Distribute horizontal evenly. So that's it. That's our features. So maybe give it a header features that it makes sense. Features. Bow and 48, 60. Yeah, 60 is fine. Okay, good. We have two parts done. Now we want to do the next part, which actually similar to what we have done, but a lot simpler. But then we have one big image at the back. So I'm lazy. I'm just going to duplicate from here. Just select this carousel or image slider and then press and hold alternate and drag it down. And somewhere near there, let go. That will be our background. Okay, let's extend this. You can actually drag this around by pressing uh, space bar and then click. So it turns into a hand and then you can just shift your artboard around to work where you want to work. So working with Illustrator and Photoshop, you need to use two hands. You cannot have just one hand. So use this artboard and extend it out all the way down so that we have enough space to work with. This one you want to extend a bit more. Alright, let's draw the first set. The first set is actually a box. And then fill it with maybe white color. And then inside here we have the pictures. I don't want to draw, I simply just want to, I'm lazy, I just want to copy from here, duplicate. Now you notice that when I duplicate from logo, it actually go behind the box. Bring it to the front, simply right click on this and then arrange, bring to front. It's just like PowerPoint, all right? Just click here and then I want it to snap to the edge so that it's an edge to edge. Then have it here somewhere near the half. Okay, that's how our image is. And again, change this to one point so that everything appear nicely. Maybe I want the box to be thicker to show the difference. And then followed by some text, which is the header or tagline or product name. Just call it product name. Since it's product feature, and it should be 36, shouldn't be that big. And then we have buttons. Okay, double click on this, just copy this. Command C or Control C to copy. Go out, come back here, paste. Okay, bring this here. Now since it's a product, so we want to be um, add to cut. Alright, one set done. Okay, so group them first. Duplicate and then duplicate. Then we want to align the tree, distribute evenly, and then go somewhere near the center of this, at the center of this, and make sure that they align center with the carousel. That will do. So that's how our, we do our products feature. Then followed by some tagline below here, which will be just a bunch of text. Okay, a drop text box and it shouldn't be bow. If bow is a bit ugly, so maybe this and it should be 60. Yeah, that should do. 
there's some tag line and followed by lastly we have a footer extend the artboard again okay that should be enough footer will maybe be in one box all right then have this root here and left side will be our copyright and then followed by the C simply use option G for Mac I'm not too sure for PC how do you get this character 2021 followed by um, let's say it's a florist Mykonos Flora Private Limited click on this Copyright statement shouldn't be that big. Yeah, maybe 24 point and then a line left. That should do. Okay, and I want to zoom in a bit here so that to drop our social media icon, it will be in circle. So center and drag this about this size. Okay, icon is actually a picture, so it's represented by um, cross again. So in order to get the point, I, of course I can simply just draw here like that, but it's not going to be accurate. So let me unselect this first and draw a plus. Escape. Okay. Group them together, right click and group. And then press and hold shift to rotate 45 degree. That will be image for icon. So first social media, second social media, that's it. Okay, maybe have this sticker. Three point, since it's the footer. Now we can adjust this back. So now you can see this is how we draw low fidelity wireframe in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.